Hello my gorgeous babes out there and welcome in today's video. I am going to be playing with the new Lethal Cosmetics Night Flower Collection. I picked up the Night Flower palette. I picked up two of the new gel liners and one of their new dual chrome highlighters. So I'm going to create some looks, do some swatches and let you know my thoughts on these products. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. So if those are things you like to watch, please hit that subscribe button and join this little family but with that being said let's get into this video all right my loves welcome i hope you guys are all doing well and having a wonderful day i am a feeling sad but i have to like get my spirits up i was watching the news which i need to stop doing and it's just so hard not to get emotionally affected by what is going on in the world right now. So it's like, you know what? I need to disconnect, go to my happy place, which is my makeup room, which is here on YouTube with you guys, and just play with some makeup and just get away for a little bit. So that's why I'm here today. <laughs> and I also wanted to play with this makeup. And hopefully this gives you a chance to just disconnect a little bit because we are always so plugged in with what is going on. Like every second and every minute, we're constantly getting updates. And sometimes it's just too much. It's too much for your brain to handle or my brain at least to handle. So hopefully I can be that space for you. So let's get into this collection. If you don't know about Lethal Cosmetics, they are a German indie brand and they are a very cool, innovative brand. So I wanted to pick up their new collection, which is called the Night Flower Collection. This is their Night Flower palette, which is a pre-made palette, but you can also just buy them as singles, the shades, if there's only a few shades that you actually like, because you can actually poke out the shadows. There's like little holes. So you can also rearrange the palette if you'd like. But this goes for $50. I'll show you guys up close the color story. Look how beautiful that is. It's a lot of blues and purples and some like cool tone, like mauve gray tone mattes with it. I love this kind of color story. I love my blues. I love my purples. And in here it says that there are six mattes, two classic multi-chromes. There's one dual chrome and three multi-chromes. I'm not totally sure which ones are the dual chromes or multi-chromes since I haven't swatched anything yet because I love going in blind when I like create looks with this because I like to just be surprised at the shades. Then they also released four new gel liners, which their gel liners are my favorite. I know I talk about them all the time on my channel, but they had a bundle where you could pick up all four. I'll show you guys the bundles because there's two shades I didn't pick up. There's like a mauve pink one, there was a periwinkle one, and I didn't get those because I felt like I had liners already in those shades. And the bundle goes for $49.60, or you can buy them as singles for $15.50 each. I'll show you guys the shades that I picked up. This was Polarity which I think this one might have a sheen to it from what I saw. I can't really remember. And this is the shade Felicity. They're both really beautiful, purple and blue. I thought these paired really nicely with the palette and the shadows in here. So I'm gonna play with these today in my looks. They also came out with three dual chrome highlighters. I only picked up one of them, but I will show you guys all of them. The shade that I picked up was called automatic which is right here this one is a gold and red dual chrome highlighter i felt like this one seemed like the most wearable for me i'll swatch this right now so you guys can see it but ooh, this is my first time swatching this one so this is what this shade looks like Ooh, this is pretty yeah i think i'm really gonna like this on my cheeks then the other two shades so there was one called stellar that one says it has a blue and violet dual chrome shift. And then the other shadow was called Halo, which that one has a green to blue dual chrome shift. So both of them looked really pretty, but I didn't see myself wearing them as much as the automatic one. So that was everything that they released in this collection. So I'm very excited to put this on my cheeks. I didn't put on any highlighter and anything. And I think I'm going to create two looks with these products and then I'll give you guys like my thoughts at the end. So let me zoom you guys in and start creating these looks. Okay, so let's put on this highlighter. This is so pretty and hopefully I'll go with the look. I'm just gonna get this like little fan brush and put that on and see how it looks on the cheeks. Ooh, yes, this is pretty. 
Oh my gosh, it has a beautiful pink sheen. This is really pretty. All right, so there is the highlighter. This to me is definitely more of a like wearable dual chrome that has that shift. I don't really see, well, I see a little bit on my nose, like the gold shift, but I definitely see like that more pinky ready tone coming through. I think it looks really good. All right, so let's get into this look. I'm gonna use the shade Polarity, the blue one, the blue liner. And I wanna create a shape. I've been really getting into the whole like graphic liner uh, looks and stuff. Like just trying them out some more. I'm trying to get like comfortable like making like shapes and stuff on my eyes. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna try to keep this line as thin as possible. Work slowly and just follow like my natural arch. Uh, I did a look like this just in my uh, review on the Heya palette and I just love the shape so much so I was like I want to do it again and since this collection has gel liners I was like yes it gives me an opportunity to perfect the shape. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. I mean, they're not perfectly matching, but like I say all the time, my eyes aren't perfectly symmetrical, so it's good enough. At the end of the day, it's good enough. So I do want to get some concealer because I want to have it be, you know, more of a precise shape. So let me get some concealer and we will shape out the lid. So I'm just going to get this flat shader brush and I'm just going to cover everything with concealer and just kind of clean up underneath the line just to make it look more precise okay so i cleaned it up with concealer see this is how you can like really clean up the lines and get it to look a little bit more precise so that's why i love going in with concealer i do want to take the blue now along like my lash line here and create like a little outer wing so hopefully that goes well. I'm gonna just start on this end. And just like kind of wing it out. And then line the whole lash line. So now I wanna get into the metallics. I'm gonna start off with the deep blue metallic, the cobalt blue. I don't know the names of these because they're on the back of the pans. So I'm just gonna point to it and I'm gonna use that all on the edge here in the open space. So I'm just gonna lay that all in that space here. So there's the shadow. This one is not going on the lid as easy. It feels a little bit more almost kind of dry, a little bit more textured. So I'm gonna try to go over with my finger just to get the metallic to be more intense. There we go. It's much better with your finger. But yeah, it does have a little bit more of a drier textured feel to it. So now I'm gonna go into this one right here. And this also has the same feel as the deeper blue one. It's like a burgundy to a blue shift. I'm going to start off with my wet brush and then I will probably go over it with my finger just so we can get it to be like as you know intense as possible. I'm going to just stick that through the center and I'm going to keep it diagonal in terms of how I put it on. All right that is looking very pretty. I can see the shift a little bit. It's not like a super intense shift, but there's definitely a shift there. So I think I'm gonna go in with the blue. I think I'm feeling the lighter blue one a little bit more. So yet again, I'm gonna pick it up on the brush and I'm gonna wet it. And put it right there, oh yes. This is really pretty. I love a nice like brighter blue metallic. I feel like this one is maybe spreading a little better on the lids than the other two shades. I think I'm gonna run a little bit of this at the bottom, this like plum, like deeper plum matte, and just use that along the lower lash line just to put something there. I'm actually gonna use the matte. I didn't expect to, but I feel like I need something down there. I 
I do want to take a little bit more of the blue liner and I just want to kind of bring the liner down just a little bit but I'm going to bring a little bit on the lower lash line too okay so I brought it down just a little bit kind of like a little bit of like a cat eye moment and I do want to take a little bit of the metallic blue on the lower lash line too and put that like right underneath the liner so this is everything that I'm going to use on the eyes I love the shape I love how it turned out like the combo and everything I'm really feeling this I think this is super fun so I'm gonna go off camera figure out something for my waterline do my like lashes figure out something for my lips and I will be right back all right I am back here is the finished look I'll show you guys up close the eyes Isn't it lovely I love the combo on the lids like these metallics look so beautiful together and how it kind of like slowly transitions into like a lighter shade I love that light blue metallic but what I did off camera was I went in with the color pop liner and exit I couldn't decide what I wanted to do so I just went in with a white one kind of meshes like with the shade that's at the bottom so it makes like kind of like a pastel -y purple tone and then for my lips I went in with the luxe liner from Juvia's Place this is called love it's more of like a mauve tone and I went over that with the Letho Cosmetics lipstick in Rome, which is more of like a grayish beige. They kind of combined together and made like a cool tone, like pinky nude. And I think it goes really well with the eyes. I did go in with the Thrive Mascara and the Rare Beauty Mascara. I did like a little combo. I was going to go in with lashes at first, but I feel like the lashes are going to like fully like cover up the lid, especially like when my eyes are open. So I just wanted the focus to be like the metallics and the shape of my eyes. So I decided not to but that is how I completed this look I think it's really really fun so I think we should now get into the next look so I'm gonna go into this shade right here the shade I use on the lower lash line and the first look the more like plummy matte and I'm gonna focus that on the outer corner Ooh, it's deeper I think on the eyes than it is in the pan especially like when you're really like uh packing that on now i want to go into maybe this shade right here this lighter like taupey purpley brown i'm going to use that through the crease the shades do have kickback definitely want to dust off the excess off your brush but i'm just using this like really fluffy but smaller brush to blend this shade all through the crease and over that like dark matte on the outer corner. I think I want to go back into the other deep plummy shade and I'm going to build that up some more and I'm going to bring it a little bit further into the crease underneath the lighter matte just to bring it in a little further. I do want to go into this shade right here and I want to have a little bit of that as like a pop in the inner portion it's close to being like a pastel it's not super light enough to to be a pastel but it's it's on the lighter side so I just want to focus that in the inner portion just for like a little pop of a lighter shade here so now let's do the lower lash line I'm going to go back into the deeper plum shade. I'm going to use that pretty much on most of the lower lash line and then put that lighter purple in the inner portion. And I will use that like taupey purpley shade that I used through the crease to blend the edge. So now I'm going to go back into that shade right here. Dust off the excess and use it to blend the edge out. All right, so I'm going in with the purple light matte. I forgot to tell you guys what I was doing. I accidentally went in with a little bit of that one too. So it's like a little bit more like a warmer purple, that shade. And the other one is a little bit more cool tone, but I think they look fine mixed together. 
So I want to go into the metallics, but I want to put down some glitter primer just to see if we can get the uh, shades to like stick better to the lid and look a little bit more foiled. I just want to see if that will make a difference using the uh, glitter glue. So now let's get into the metallics. I'm going to start off with the purple, the purple metallic. I want to use all the ones that I haven't used yet. And I'm going to work that on the corner or the end that's closest to the deep plum on the outer corner. Yeah, this does so much better with a tacky base to really stick to. Now I'm going to clean the brush off and I'm going to go into the lighter purple shade. In the inner portion, we're just going to be all purple out in this look. That's pretty. It's such a pretty, like, light, kind of leaning a little bit more of like a warm purpley pink metallic, but that is so beautiful. I really, really like the light shimmers in here. Like, those are my favorite. And now I'm going to go into this shade right here as my inner corner highlight. This one is like a gold to pink shift. Like, when I look at it in the pan, it's gold. But like when I show it to you guys, it looks, I think, a little bit more pink on camera. Oh, that's going to be beautiful in the inner corner. And I'm just going to put that right there. Ooh, yes, it looks so pinky on, on the eyes. That makes a beautiful inner corner highlight. I love that. I love this shift. So now I'm going to go in with the Felicity shade and use that in the waterline. That's how I want to use it. This is what I usually use the gel liners for is for my waterline. That's how I use them the most. I just think that they stay really well. They're super opaque and they just make really good liners for the waterline. So that is everything that I'm going to do on the eyes. I think this is also super pretty, super purple. I love it. And I think everything just works so well together. So I'm going to go off camera, figure out something for my lips, my lashes, and maybe put some mascara on, maybe put some falsies on, see what I come up with, and I will be right back. All right, I am back, and here is the completed look. I did go in with the Ace Beauty uh, falsies. I think they're called Daphne. I tried to look them up on their website. I don't think they're there. Maybe it's the style that got discontinued, but I thought a little drama would go well with this look. I love a good purple look. It's really good at like amplifying my eye color. I feel like purple does really well for brown eyes. At least in my opinion, I love it. I did go in with the Lethal Cosmetics Lipstick in Virtue. It's kind of like a plummy shade. And then I went over it with the Rome shade to lighten it a little bit, make it a little bit more like cool toned. And I think they go really nicely mixed together with this look. And then for my mascara, I just used a Rare Beauty mascara. And that's all I did off camera to finish everything. I'll show you guys one more time up close. Hopefully my lashes don't look terrible. I'm really bad at like putting them on. I mean, I think I'm getting better the more I do it. But if they look funny, it's probably because they are funny. <laughs> but that is everything for look number two. I feel like it's now time to give you guys my like final first impressions on all of these products and wrap up this video. All right, guys, we are at the end of this video and I'm here to give you guys my like first impressions on these products. I think the highlighter is really pretty in this collection. I think it has a nice little shift and it's definitely more on, I think, the wearable side for a like dual chrome highlighter. Now, it's not as intense as a shift as like the ones from Kaleidos. But the Kaleidos one is, what, like 30 something dollars and these are going for 20 So this is more of an affordable option. So I feel like that's probably why the shift is not as intense. But I do see the slight shift and I think this looks beautiful on the cheeks, the one in Atomic. For the gel liners, they're the usual good gel liners. I love their gel liners. I rave about them all the time. They're opaque, they're creamy. They work wonderful on the lids as well as in the waterline. I love them so much, I even picked up some other shades in this order. 
As for the palette, I think it's really pretty. It's a very like purple blue color story. So you have to like these kind of colors. If you're into purples and blues and like cool tones, I think you will love this palette. I feel like the mattes were blendable. They were buildable. I think everything laid well on each other. Like I think it's the usual good like formula from Letho. I do feel like the metallics were a little bit more dry it might be in my head because i haven't used a lethal palette in a while but they are very sparkly you can get them to look very foiled if you use your finger or you use a tacky base i feel like you can get the most intensity in terms of like the multi-chromes and dual chromes in here i feel like the shifts are very subtle on these and they did say in their like launch video for lethal that they wanted to make more affordable multi-chrome options because there are other multi-chromes are a lot more pricey and these I think are like nine dollars individually so they're a lot cheaper than the like multi-chromes you can get from Cleona or Divina so I think maybe with that case the shifts aren't as intense in terms of like you know because they've used a more affordable route or maybe not much pigment I'm not totally sure how you create multi-chromes if you're expecting multi-chromes that are really intense with the shift like every time you turn your eyes you can see like the color change they're not those kind of like dual chromes and multi chromes, but they are $9 versus like Cleona where it's like $20 a shade, you know? So you do get, I feel in a sense, what you pay for when you get these, but I still think they're beautiful and sparkly and I love the two looks I was able to create. And I think overall, this was a good palette, mattes and everything and really pretty so if you like this kind of color story if you like purples and blues i think you will enjoy this i do think that it is worth the 50 dollars but that was my thoughts on this entire collection i did really enjoy using all these products and i hope you guys did enjoy this video you guys will have to let me know in the comments below have you tried letho did you pick up any of these products what do you think of the looks and just like your overall thoughts i would love to hear from all y'all and if you're new here and you like a lot of fun colorful makeup content please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I'd love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will link all the products where you can find them. I will also link the rest of my makeup I am wearing, like what's on my face. I will put other videos of mine that I've done, like on other lethal products and stuff. I will also have my content and social media platforms listed below. If you want to check me out on Instagram, I am Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. If you guys want to check me out on those platforms, I would really, really love that but that was everything guys thank you so much for watching this video for taking some time to hang out with me a bit and be here and support me i really appreciate it but i do hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world and i hope you guys are all staying safe but i'm sending you guys all so much light and love but until next time bye guys